Boeing faced significant criticism for repeatedly delaying the launch of the Starliner spacecraft over the years. Each planned launch encountered issues that forced postponements, leading to more than four delays. Finally, last week, Boeing successfully launched the spacecraft, and despite the lengthy delay, the achievement was met with cheers and congratulations from the space community. However, this launch has also revealed a major issue that could jeopardize the return mission, potentially stranding the crew on the International Space Station. In this video, we will explore this critical issue and discuss whether the crew will be able to return safely with the Starliner spacecraft. Before we delve any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about this mission. It's been a week since the Starliner successfully docked with the International Space Station for the first time with a crew on board. Teams are now gearing up for the undocking and re-entry phase of the mission. This preparation involves ground teams evaluating five helium leaks in the Starliner to ensure they pose no risk to the return mission. According to a recent statement, the Starliner will remain at the International Space Station until at least June 18th. This time frame allows the crew to conduct additional Starliner-related tests and for ground crews to confirm the spacecraft's readiness for the journey back to Earth. The agency recently released an update detailing the crew's activities and the issues Starliner is experiencing. One significant issue involves one of Starliner's reaction control system thrusters, capable of producing about 85 pounds of thrust, which remains inactive as teams continue to assess its performance. Ground teams plan to fire all 28 thrusters post-undocking to gather additional data on the service module thrusters before they are expended in the normal course of operations. In addition to these reaction control system issues, the current mission also revealed several helium leaks. Initially, one leak was detected before launch, which was managed through a detailed plan. Upon reaching orbit, Two more leaks were discovered, necessitating the closure of the helium manifolds during flight to prevent further loss. These were reopened before docking to allow for normal operations. During the first uncrewed test flight in December 2019, Starliner encountered multiple issues. One major problem was a software malfunction related to the mission elapsed timer. The timer error caused the spacecraft to miss its orbit insertion burn, which led to an 11-hour mismatch and ultimately prevented Starliner from reaching the International Space Station. Additionally, another software error involving the thruster valve mapping could have led to a catastrophic failure during the disposal burn of the service module if it had not been corrected in flight. The second uncrewed test flight conducted in May 2022 aimed to address the issues from the first test. However, it also faced challenges, including failures in five reaction control system thrusters during the spacecraft's approach to the International Space Station. Through a series of hot-fire tests, four of these thrusters were brought back online, allowing the mission to proceed safely. Manual piloting was required at one point to ensure a successful docking. Additionally, the second test experienced issues with the parachute system. During testing, it was discovered that one of the three main parachutes had a lower-than-expected stress limit due to a faulty connection, which posed a significant risk if one parachute failed, increasing the load on the remaining parachutes. This was a critical concern that needed addressing to ensure the safe return of the crew capsule. To address these problems, Boeing implemented numerous corrective actions. For the software issues, Boeing undertook a comprehensive review and re-verification of all Starliner software, encompassing about one million lines of code. This included adding filters to prevent incorrect mission elapsed time polling and correcting the thruster valve mapping error. For the parachute system, the soft link joints were redesigned, and extensive testing was conducted to ensure their reliability. Furthermore, a potential flammability issue with the tape used to wrap wire harnesses was also identified and addressed by replacing the tape with a non-flammable alternative. Now, Boeing is taking several steps to address the recent problems with the Starliner spacecraft and ensure the safe return of astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams from the International Space Station. Firstly, regarding the helium leaks, Boeing has implemented a plan to manage the issue by closely monitoring the helium levels and ensuring that the spacecraft has enough helium to support its return journey. 
the leaks were managed by closing the manifolds to prevent helium loss when the spacecraft was docked. Engineers have calculated that even with the leaks, Starliner has sufficient helium to support its operations during the return trip. For the reaction control system thrusters, which are essential for maneuvering the spacecraft, Boeing plans to fire all 28 thrusters after undocking to collect additional data and ensure their reliability before re-entry. This step is crucial to confirm that the remaining thrusters can control the spacecraft effectively during the descent and landing phases. Boeing has also addressed previous software issues that caused significant problems during earlier uncrewed test flights. The software for mission elapsed time and thruster valve mapping has been thoroughly reviewed and re-verified. As the undocking day approaches, the crew and ground teams will continue final preparations. The first step in the undocking process is to ensure that the docking mechanism is disengaged properly. This mechanism, which has kept Starliner securely attached to the International Space Station, will be carefully disengaged to allow the spacecraft to drift away from the station slowly and safely. This disengagement is a critical moment, as it marks the beginning of Starliner's journey back to Earth. During re-entry, the spacecraft will slow down from orbital velocity, and once in the atmosphere, the forward heat shield will be jettisoned. Two drogues and three main parachutes will then slow Starliner's descent further. Assuming a successful touchdown, Starliner will be certified as an official commercial crew vehicle. The first operational crewed mission is planned for 2025 as part of NASA's commercial crew program. It's important to note that even though Boeing received a much larger investment than SpaceX, they delivered the spacecraft almost years after SpaceX did. Boeing received a larger contract from NASA, with a total of $4.2 billion compared to SpaceX's $2.6 billion for the development of their respective spacecraft under NASA's commercial crew program. This figure increased to $5.1 billion for Boeing after receiving an additional $287.2 million in 2019 when NASA considered cutting its losses with the Starliner program. SpaceX, awarded the contract in 2014 alongside Boeing, successfully launched the Crew Dragon in May 2020. Since then, Crew Dragon has completed multiple crewed missions, including flights for both NASA astronauts and private customers. In contrast, Boeing's Starliner has faced repeated issues, such as software glitches and propulsion system valve problems, during its initial uncrewed test flights. The cost per seat for missions is also a critical point of comparison. SpaceX charges approximately $55 million per seat on the Crew Dragon, whereas Boeing's Starliner seats are significantly more expensive at around $90 million each. This higher cost has also raised questions about the value of the investments made in the Starliner program. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.